My name is from Curry and I'm visiting from Albany District Secondary School. I'm Ariel Koenig and I'm from Smithers Secondary School. I'm Kayla and I'm from Smithers Secondary School. This May, 86 high school students attended the Vernon J. Kirkness program at the Universities of British Columbia, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. 30 of these students were here at UBC. They're from Campbell River, Fort Alberta, Merritt, Smithers, McClement, Slave Lake. This is like such a big place. It kind of seems like a, a like its own little city. The Vernon J. Kirkness program is run by a number of volunteers whose goal it is to increase the number of First Nations, Inuit, and Métis students graduating from science and engineering programs in Canada. What if we gave young people from First Nations communities across Canada the opportunity to learn about kinesiology, nutrition, engineering. You are budding indigenous scientists, probably the most natural scientists in existence. If any student has a dream, then hopefully our program will show them that they can make that dream come true. Students attending the Vernon J. Kirkness program get to spend a week at a Canadian university working with scientists and engineers in their labs and learning about their research. You have uh, this wonderful opportunity to learn from actual scientists, from actually doing things. We had the students come in and build a computer model of a house and then do some analysis on that house. I was with Cheryl and a couple of grad students at the Sears building and we built houses and then we analyzed how uh, cost effective they were. I was in the Michael Smith lab and we did like a mix between chemistry and bio. I was in like architecture with John Bass. We just learned about like architecture and how it's not just about building buildings but that it's so much more than that. Students early encounters with people from higher education it can be really important. So programs uh, that work with Indigenous students and connect them with people on campus are, are really important. What stood out is just how, um, how fast they were able to kind of work on this project that we designed for them. They have put together really innovative solutions. This hands-on experience is really important to shaping their ideas about what's possible for them. I was more surprised that we actually had to do like hands-on things because I thought it was just like lectures and everything. Students attending the program get to live in university residence for a week. They get a bit of a sense of what it's like to be a university student and they also get to explore some of the attractions surrounding the university that they're visiting. We got out and explored the campus which was kind of nice because then it gives you like an actual feel of like how campus life is. One thing I really enjoyed was on the first day we got to go to Science World. If you liked it here, as I've heard many people say, two years from now it can all happen for you. I actually want to become a doctor of nutrition, so UBC is actually a school that I've been planning on going to. This year, the students who attended the program at UBC were honored with a feast. The purpose of this evening really is to honor the students. This is a feast for you. I hope this week has made you think about your future, you know, whether it's in science or not. It was challenging, but it was really rewarding at the end. Yeah, I like it here. It's so beautiful with all the trees and the plants and everything. I absolutely plan to keep doing it. Yeah, it's really fun. It's really gratifying. I think we're especially happy to have the Verna Kukas programs um, here on campus. It was overall a pretty good week. It was a pretty good week. It was a good week.